To track your claims on the Chase app, start by logging in with your username and password. Complete any necessary security verification that appears. Once logged in, look for the menu icon, typically represented by three horizontal or vertical lines. This menu gives you access to all the app's features. In the menu, look for Secure Messages or Customer Support. This section contains your claims and dispute options. Within Secure Messages or Customer Support, find the Claims or Disputes section. This is where you can view and track all your claim submissions. In the Claims section, you'll see a list of both active and past claims. Each claim shows its current status with clear indicators for submitted, under review, approved, or denied. Tap on any specific claim number to view detailed information. You'll see the current status, estimated resolution dates, and any messages from Chase regarding your claim. The Chase app includes a comprehensive dispute tracker that displays both open and closed disputes along with their current status. This feature helps you monitor all your claim activities in one centralized location. To initiate a dispute, locate the specific transaction in your account activity and select the option to report a problem. This starts the formal dispute process for that particular charge. Claims can also be filed online through the Chase Card Benefits Portal. You'll select the appropriate claim type based on your specific situation, such as trip delay, purchase protection, or other covered benefits. When disputing a charge, provide detailed information about the error and include any supporting documentation. This might include cancellation confirmations, receipts, or communication records with the merchant. Claims typically take 7 to 14 business days to process, depending on the complexity of the case. More complex disputes may require additional time for thorough investigation. The dispute resolution process follows a structured flowchart that includes multiple stages, such as initial chargeback, second chargeback, and potential arbitration if needed. Before filing a dispute, it's recommended to contact the merchant directly first to try resolving the issue. This can often lead to faster resolution and may prevent the need for a formal dispute process.